Kimberly Taranowski enjoys decorating her house for Halloween. I just love fall. It's my favorite time of the year. She appreciates just being able to set up her decorations because there was a time not too long ago when she couldn't even walk across the room. I actually thought that um, before they diagnosed it that I had something fatal, that I would not make it. It was very, very frightening. Kimberly spent years taking care of her mother and had a difficult time after she passed away. My menstrual cycle stopped, which I thought was odd, and I thought um, that's probably just stress or maybe I'm going through early menopause. And then I started having trouble with my, my feet. And then my legs started hurting. At fir first it felt like a, t a tingling. And then it got to the pain, to the point rather that it was so excruciating that just by having the sheet touch my legs, I was in agony. She thought it was grief related. Then her hair started to fall out and she began losing weight. I had a series of blood tests done. Um, some of my liver enzymes came back with the ferritin levels extremely high. So I uh, saw a liver specialist and he, um, he did an endoscopy to, to check out um, uh, my digestive system. And he said, I think you have hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis is a genetic condition that causes iron to build up in the body. Kimberly had never heard of it before. It can cause uh, medical complications such as heart disease and other organ damage in individuals that have long-standing disease. In addition to taking medication, Kimberly comes here to Florida's blood centers once a month to have her iron levels checked. When her iron levels are high, which is usually about every three to four months, she has a phlebotomy or a blood draw to remove some of the excess iron from her system. When you donate uh, a unit of blood, each unit of each milliliter of blood that you pull, we collect during a blood donation, uh, pulls off one milligram of iron. And so we pull when we do phlebotomies for these individuals, we in a sense, remove their iron stores. By remo constantly removing their iron stores, we allow the individual, uh, to, or we minimize the risk of an individual developing additional organ damage from having too much iron in the body's bloodstream. Florida's Blood Center's medical director, Dr. Richard Gammon, says if a hemochromatosis patient meets all eligibility requirements of a regular donor, their blood can now be given to patients in need of transfusions. That's something that makes Kimberly proud because her mother needed several units of blood while battling cancer. That's the only one thing we can't reproduce and we have to have people that are willing to donate. Kimberly is doing a lot better today. The medications and phlebotomies help keep her numbers within a normal range. But since hemochromatosis is genetic, she worries she may have passed the gene on to her daughter who will need to be tested later in life. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.